if you work in retail or you know if you have to deal with customers in general then you'll probably be able to relate to this video comment down below what I said that made you be like oh snap that happened to me too and before I start don't forget to hit that like subscribe button and don't forget to comment be engaged with me you know what I'm saying like be engaged <laughs> hey people what's up what to what's good what's popping what's going on The first thing on the list is the question that customers love to ask. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you, Do work, you work here? We can be in uniform, we can have our badge on, and they'll still ask that. And even though that's a pet peeve, it's still kind of funny to me, so I don't even be stressing that too much, because it's still funny. It's like, do you work here? No, I do not work here. I do not work here in my uniform. I do not work here with the badge on. I do not work here at the moment. And I'm pretty sure I used to ask that question a lot to somebody. Somebody probably wanted to slap me when I asked that, but you know. Everybody have their slow moments. Second thing on the list is customers throwing their money on the counter. Oh, your total is eight fifty-five. My hand is right here. It's right here. For your convenience, please do not throw money at me. Because if my mom was here seeing you do it, she would go be blowed. Not only is that rude, that is disrespectful. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. But yeah, don't do that. If you wouldn't want somebody doing that to your child, don't do it to somebody else's child. Period. At all. <laughs> The third thing on the list is almost like throwing money, but not the same level of disrespect. Because throwing money is like, oh, you a stripper. I ain't no stripper. If I was, you better place it gently on me. Periodata. When customers throw items on the counter, it's like, I get you buying it, but please, Karen, stop throwing it on the counter. That junk is annoying. That sound is irritating my soul. Can you just put it there? Put it there. Just thank you. The fourth thing on this list is when customers mess up the aisles that you literally just fixed. That they literally just saw you fixing but they do not have enough respect to fix it back. Um, the place I work has this aisle that has all the towels. Oh my gosh. Oh my chile. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we'll fold it. We'll take our time. Yeah, that's a part of the job. If customers mess it up, you fix it. Our job is fixing things and like fixing the shelves and stuff like that. But it's not our job to... Actually, that is our job, to just accept the disrespect. Be professional. Customer's always right, I guess. Customers watch us fold the towels, and they'll compliment you on how you fold the towels, right? And then, like, as soon as you walk away, they'll just stuff the towels back. They'll open the towels like, hmm, okay, this towel's nice. Wow. How exquisite. And they'll just stuff it back in there. Like, can you just fold it real quick? I get that's not your job, but help me out here i just folded four shelves not like four shelves of towels please put a favor fix it please put it back how you found it number five when customers let their kids be reckless like hello if you don't get your child i'ma get your child take care of your children take care of your children <laughs> i get it you know kids will be kids like a lot of the time they just have bad days they just be wild in the jungle like stop it Jimmy I'll put you in a cage type of thing you know what I'm saying with a lot of the parents that come into my store they don't care like the level of not careness that they have <laughs> is ridiculous like like literally one of like literally one of my co-workers one of my like I call her my work mom because she's like my work mom she always have my back she always have my back like she was literally fixing an aisle while as she was fixing it somebody's child was throwing things i'm not even exaggerating like their child was throwing things down and all the parent was like well stop not really like you know trying to put him in his place not a little try to ugh. she wasn't really trying to put him in his place she was just like stop like she didn't take your child move him like he's you told him stop you but no and he literally was like no that boy was like four yo four year old child telling you no like that oh oh hmm got it on blog hey like come on now handle your child like or somebody else go handle them for you the thing with that is after that happened to my old co-worker i'm like you know what let me go back to that aisle and fix that aisle even though he's literally messing up that aisle they're gonna be at that aisle for a long while so i'm like okay let me go back to 
the aisle that was messed up so I can try to you know fix it cuz so that same aisle I'm like okay let me go back to it see what's up like see like what's the damage I gotta see like what's being messed up and stuff like that so I went to the aisle and then I refixed what she already fixed that the little boy messed up and then he tried to touch something that I was already fixing I was like no he he didn't touch it he just walked away from it I said no I'll give you that death stare that black mama death stare like no like don't try me little boy don't try me little boy <laughs> Moral of the story is please don't let your child be reckless. If you ain't paying for it, don't touch it. You gotta tell them when we go in here, don't touch nothing, don't look at nothing, don't, don't, don't think about nothing. If you ain't paying for it, that's what you gotta tell them. Okay. <laughs> Number six, when customers put random things random places. And hold up, y'all. Say I if you did that before. I, cause I did it before, but it wasn't to the extent of bleach in the juice section. Like, who put bleach in the juice section? Like, the thing, like, I'll put little things. I won't try to hide it, you know? Like, uh, most of the time, like, nine times out of ten, like, I'll literally go back to wherever I came from just to put it back. Before I even started working as a cashier and stuff like that, before I started working in retail, I'll put it back because, like, it's no biggie. I'll walk fast. Just, boop. Let's say the juice section is right here and then the chip section right here. They'll put the juice in the chip section instead of walking back to what a juice is like it's not that deep it's not that deep it's not that deep like literally i'll see pans pans stuffed into the chips what type of chips you trying to cook up in here you trying to fry some kettle corn or something trying to make you some popcorn you could just go back to wherever you could just put it back where it was or you could just come to the register and be like hmm, i don't want this anymore can you guys just put this somewhere up here and we'll be able to control and be able to put it back at the end of the night when it's time to close number seven giving us extra change after we already put the total in the system like for example if i say your total is 8 30 right and then you give me 8 30 i put that in a system i click enter and then you try to give me five dollars like no i do not math i do not math i do not like math i cannot stand math please don't do this to me i do not like math i do not want to sit here and think i'm just trying to scan 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 have a nice day you know like no thank you boo boo no thank you i'm over here looking dumb like you know <laughs> Help me out like y'all got a calculator <laughs> number eight this is a big pet peeve i don't know how many other people experience it but for me i experience customers disrespectfulness to me for no reason like i'm nice i'm nice like literally customers will snatch the receipt out of your hand you'll say have a nice day they won't say nothing back i said have a nice day better have a nice day Please don't snatch a receipt out my hand because it's taking every ounce of Jesus in me to hold me back to be respectful. This customer got pissed at me because like I marked something that was on sale as not on sale. You know what I'm saying? I scanned it and I didn't have to. I didn't put like the discount I didn't discount it and it was supposed to be discounted but look I gotta do all that manually okay and there's no sticker to remind me there's no sticker to remind me that oh okay this is on sale I'm not gonna memorize everything when I walk in the store I don't even be having time to walk around to look to see what we have it's not like we over here having a meeting saying okay guys this is on sale that is that that is that that is that okay I don't know just like you don't know okay so please be patient please be patient with me please thank you so literally she got pissed at me and mind you when I was scanning it she was looking at my register she was looking at everything I was doing and she did not say anything she said hmm, what's the total I told her the total she was like okay and then here comes the receipt here's the receipt Here's the receipt. Here's the receipt. The re Excuse me, miss. You didn't mark it for 33% off. Like, she was pissed. She was pissed. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I took the receipt and I was like, oh, um, it's going to take about 15 minutes for it to show up in the system since the transaction is fresh. And usually when the transaction is fresh, for me to put back the 33% off, it's going to take 15 minutes to show that, you know, it went through. I don't know. The system is weird. I'm trying to explain it, but y'all lost. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Let me continue on with the story. <laughs> so yeah, I told her that and she was like, I'm going to have to wait 15 minutes. And I was like, or 10. <laughs> And then that's when she put her hand out for the receipt and I put my hand out for the receipt too. I had it like this and she snatched it. Like when I say she snatched it y'all, I like literally my finger was like in the paper, like the, in the receipt and like she pulled my finger alongside with the receipt and I was just like, 
Takuna Matata. Like, you know, oh my gosh. Like, come on now. Like, she snatched it and was like, thank you. Like, you you snatched my finger. What you mean, thank you? No, thank you. Like, what the heck? Get on my face. <laughs> And then she had me call the manager. I called the manager. She had to wait anyways. You played yourself. You had to wait anyways. Be respectful. Because you look dumb now. <laughs> when customers don't allow us to finish our offer. Or like if we say, oh, would you like to donate or something like that. Like they don't let us finish our sentence. Like I get I get it. You're tired. You had a long day. You don't want to hear extra talking. But I am not an automated call. I am not scam like I am not Chase when you speak into a robot or something. My friend, I am a person and I am in your face. If I say, excuse me, would you like to donate? No. It's just the do- no. Like, can I finish my like that's rude for example i'll be like excuse me would you like to donate adult no to the camera no okay <laughs> okay like y'all don't understand how rude that is let me finish my sentence this is a part of my job if i don't say it then i'm gonna get in trouble so i gotta say it so please do not be rude i had a long day too just like you just like you but I'm still at work, hence you're coming to the mic store to make a purchase. Just don't be rude. Like, allow the people to finish their sentence. Even if it's a mouthful, even if you're in a rush, say no at the end. Like, what are you rude for? Who raised you? Who raised you? <gasps> Number nine. Oops. Hold on. I told you about this finger. This finger never want to stand up. <laughs> Stay down. When customers pick up a product that they want to buy and say, hmm, no price, it must be free. Look, I hear that joke every single day. I wish I was exaggerating. But the first couple of times, I'm like, ha ha, a ha ha. Second time, a ha ha. Third time, a ha ha. Fourth, and all the other times after that, it's not funny. It's old. Like, people say that every day. Every day. I cannot fake it anymore. I want to be an actress, but that's just overwhelming. I hear that every single day. So it comes to the point where I can't even fake it no more. Like, I just can't. I cannot. And a customer got mad at me because I didn't laugh at her joke. I'm like, when I'm focused on something, I'm focused on something, so I'm over here just typing, trying to scan everything. Da -da 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 -da. She was like, Wow, some people have no sense of humor, ma'am. Some people aren't original because people say that joke every day. Where I get that from? It's annoying. I don't think I've ever said that. I don't think I ever said that because that, like, yeah, I never said that to anybody. So, why are you saying this to us? It is not free. It is not free, okay? It is not free. Somebody forgot to put a sticker, a tag, a skew, a price. It is not free, okay? <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> when customers flirt with associates, when customers flirt with employees and cashiers and stuff like that, not everybody want to feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Y'all cannot be making uncomfortable, disrespectful, sexual, misogynistic, sexist comments. That anybody trying to have that. No, that is not cute. When customers flirt, I think I literally take it in one ear out the other. And they'll be over here smiling at me the whole time. I'll smile back, but in my head I'm like, I don't know what you just said. Like, why are you still standing here? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know what you just said. I don't. The key to not having anybody feel uncomfortable is telling them they're beautiful, telling them they're fine. One, it's all cute and funny to a certain extent, but don't try to, like, overdo the flirting. Like, stay on the surface. Do not try to cross that line. Watch yourself. Watch yourself, Billy. I see what's going on in your pants. Number 11. <laughs> I don't have any more fingers to do 11, but just use your imagination. You should know how 11 fingers look. When customers bring a coupon and the coupon is expired, and they'll say, this coupon is expired, can I still use it? Look, I'm sorry, but it's expired. You answered your own question. Like, what would be the point of an expiration date? Like, make it make sense. My alien senses is tingling. Half the customers that'll say that, they'll get mad if you don't use their coupon. Man, this expired over a month ago and that happened to one of my coworkers. Like, she over here still trying to use it. We can't do nothing about that. It's literally not us. It's not us. We'll try to scan it. It'll say it's expired. It will not go through, okay? Don't get mad at us. It's corporate. Tell them, I'm tired of the coupons having an expiration date. We should still be able to use it past the expiration date. Tell them that, okay? And while you're at it, tell them to raise our pay because $9 an hour ain't it's not number 12 
<laughs> when sales end and customers get mad that we can't bring the sale back like having a sale is the worst thing ever because customers they are rowdy they do not play about sales like look my friend my friend look the sale ended last month i cannot do nothing for that okay nothing <laughs> Like the thing is with the sales, it will be like, okay, the sale finished last Saturday. They'll come to you. Oh, I heard this was on sale. They'll literally have a cart filled with things. And there's a sign like every corner saying, okay, this is when the sale ends. This is when it started. And they'll come with the cart filled with things and then get mad when you tell them that the sale ended and they'll just not buy anything. Like I can't, I can't, I can't fathom how you think that I can just lose my job because you want the sale to come back. I'm not, I can't. I can't I cannot <laughs> and like when it comes to the sales when the customer does not get their product or whatever discounted they'll start telling you about their whole life like look I had a long day I had to feed my six cats each eight hours six hours apart literally I was on the phone like a customer had me on the phone telling me how long her day was she had a lot of cats I can't I can't like the sale ended my friend them white tears ain't work, working on me they're not another thing that get cashiers like riled up is when we tell you something you're not satisfied then you get the manager and the manager tell you something and then you be like i'm never coming here again okay bye <laughs> we try to be as respectful as we can smile sit up straight and stuff like that but you look dumb i literally gave you a whole speech saying that it's policy and you oh get the manager out here like the manager go bow down to you and fire me like me and the manager that's my home girl that's my home dog you know what i'm saying like she go have my bag he go have my bag the only time you should go to a manager is when a sales associate or whatever is disrespecting you telling you that this is $5.99 even though you want it to be $3.99 is not a reason to get the manager we cannot change the price that is the price and it has a sticker we cannot change it <laughs> But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I feel like it wasn't as interesting as the rest of my videos. But I hope y'all like it regardless. Y'all need content. I'm pretty sure like, dang, where's Susanna? I miss her. I miss me too. I miss me too. Deuces, 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 deuces. <laughs>